Okay, so I wanted to see how hard it is to overtake around this track. Uh, so I've not qualified. Wanted to start in 12th, but two people also didn't qualify. Where's he going? I went for the lights. Just below 5,000 revs. Release the clutch. Throttle on. Okay. Okay, we've got two spaces. What do I want to do here? I'm just going to have a look. Yeah, Pink's on the outside. Just hang him out there. Okay, we're up three spots. Yeah, so um, I wanted to see how difficult it was to overtake around here. Maybe show you some overtaking spaces. See if I can get to the front and defend. It's quite a task though through here to one second. Yeah, everyone's made it through safely. Um, yeah, so I'm in my uh, my alt account. My uh, main account's 5.4 that I run the V Championship in, but this is my fun account. Um, iRacing is aware that I have to. I did check with them that it's all right. They said yes, because it's both in my name. One second. Okay, we've got a double draft here. Move to the inside. I've not got the post to pass them on the straight. So I'm just going to back up, back off a little, see what's happening. Just hold it on the inside. Yeah. Most people that go on the outside don't really have the pace to hold it around there. So it's a good overtaking space. Ooh. Okay, he slowed up there a lot earlier than I do. Oh, he's, is he letting me through? Yeah, he's letting me go passed already still keep it tight so you can pass going into the chicane but it has to be with the cooperation of the guy that you're passing there Alex ceded the spot to me obviously it's a little bit trickier going in from that inside line but it is a line I do practice so we're in fifth the leaders look like they might be getting away a little bit hopefully they can have a fight Got Andre Silver ahead of me. What is he? 1.8k. Let's see. I'm just going to be a bit wary of him. He's he's losing it. Whoa there. <laughs> Little code brown. Thanks, Alex. Okay, so now we're up to the leaders. I'm having a bit of a fight. Let's see if I can try and get through them. Who've they got? So they've got. A 3.8k, a 2.8k, and a 1.8k. They're all C licenses, so we can all obviously drive, but ideally, I'd rather be through them and setting the pace and then just dealing with one at a time on the defense rather than sort of being at the mercy of any of the three of them ahead messing up and causing a crash that I can't get away from. I'm gonna see if I can get a sort of double draft going here. See if I can thread the needle. I don't really want to be in the middle, three wide into T1. Can I get through them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, he's gone on the inside, that's fine. Okay, so I doubt I'm going to be able to drive away from anyone here because this is a big draft track and you need a pace differential of nearly a second a lap to be able to actually drive away from someone. Um, well, let's see if I can do some defending. Uh, one second. Oh, that's nice. So I'm just looking at the head-to-head. Point four at the end of that. So, he's point four behind me. Now point three. This is all on throstle. So he should be able to pass me quite easily. I'm going to stay out on the left-hand side and go around the outside of turn one. I'm going to give him loads of space because I don't know if he's going to understeer out. So I don't recommend defending on the outside unless you've practiced it in testing. I run the outside quite a lot in testing. It is actually quite a nice line. You get plenty of 
slide. Feels good. But ideally, I don't want to be behind these guys going through the chicane every time. Because then you're just hoping and praying. I'm just going to back off. Just hoping and praying that they don't mess up. Now he's fine. So I do have the run on him because I'm on the throttle a lot earlier. So I'm going to go through on the inside here. I'm going to give plenty of room. Just clip this. Hold it. Yeah, he's back down. And again, even through turn 8, uh, you can pass through there. But if you do, you really have to hold it tight. And you can't let it slide out. I've seen lots of people slide off that uh, inside curb and take out the person on the outside. He's now coming up my inside again here. Oh, I've just had an idea. So by the time you're watching this, you're probably watching it with a with an in-screen showing the uh, my chase cam. But I've just thought of doing that, so I'll, I'll record that again afterwards and just add it onto the YouTube video. So yeah, I'm about a tenth or two quicker than him through that section, but it's not going to be enough to drive away. The other tricky thing that we've got here at Lime Rock is, if you're in second on the final lap going around that last corner, uh, you will win the race. So ideally I'd rather be in second, but I'd rather not have to deal with three people. Just hold it around the inside to show it's possible to defend around the inside as well. Yeah, now, if I was racing in the uh, in the uh, high soft of the week, that uh, was the first one on the changeover. Um, if I defend on the inside there, then you're just going to have people like Seb Colson, C.J. Barry, um, Alex Wenger, uh, Matt Zerbies, Brian Simpson, Alan Gassis, all those people. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, that's me not concentrating. He's going to have the pace on me here. I'm just going to move over to the left-hand side, let him pass. All of those people would be able to overtake me on the outside. Um, but as I say, most people in top split, and certainly in the splits below that, aren't going to have the ability to, to hold it around there. So Claudio is going to have a look at me there. He's backed off. <laughs> he's 3.8k so he's probably just thinking well if I just sit behind these guys he's probably going to watch and see what's happening and probably make a move with a couple of laps to go And ideally I'd want to be sitting on his rear or he'll be sitting on mine I'll just concentrate and see if I can take this corner a little bit better chicane there we go Again, David passing me on the inside. <laughs> I'm in VR, so I can look from side to side. And you're watching this. Uh, you'll just be stuck on a single monitor. Just taking that a little bit tight. Claudio right on my gearbox. Just run over a few curbs there. Okay, got two or three laps to go. Outside, there's Claudio going on the outside. What am I doing? Uh, 
see. Sorry, I thought Claudio was going around on the outside, so I had to hold it a little bit tighter. Sorry, David. I do love the uh, do love the four wheel slide around there. Oh, we've left a gap. very well. He's got the inside here so I'm just going to back out slowly. I don't want Claudio going through. I'm starting to get to the end time now. made a move. I'm going to go and draft him because he's got the speed. I thought he'd do this. Where's he going? If he's going outside, I'll go in. Just got to actually hit the brake a bit there when you're taking the inside line. don't know if you can see that my telemetry. And just hold it tight. Just give me room. Pass the start finish one more time before it's the end of the race. on the inside. But he backed off. So, I'd have been quite happy to cede first to him there, but he's no fool. He knows if he just sits behind me now, unless he makes a mistake, he's just going to be able to draft me across the line. But I'll be happy with second, starting in tenth. Mess this up. Oh, nearly did. Just didn't quite have the speed going through that. I had to just adjust. He's point one behind. And unfortunately, I can't think of any way. I'm just going to hold a line. And here he comes through. Ah, that was fun racing. So that's how you top slip races. It's well worth getting getting fast in this and getting up to top slip because you can have some great racing. Um, tenth to second, I'll take that. Still not quite perfect. Anyway, I'll see you again next week for the uh, next lap guide. Thanks a lot.